young scientist named Saul Perlmutter was thinking some very big thoughts indeed. The question that's been really exciting me is whether the universe will last forever. Do we live in a universe that, that is infinite or will someday will it come to an end? The two big options at the time were that the universe could expand forever, but just slow and slow and slow, but forever be expanding or if there was enough stuff in the universe to gravitationally attract it, it could slow to a halt and then collapse and come to an end. Perlmutter was measuring the way the universe was expanding by observing exploding stars called supernovae. One particular kind of supernova always explodes the same way because it waits until just a critical amount of mass has fallen on it and then it explodes. So they all look very similar to each other they brighten as a firework and fade away, and they reach the same brightness. And you can then use that as an indicator of how far away it is by just looking to see how bright it appears to you. Eventually, after the team had identified 42 such dying stars, the calculations began. What Perlmutter discovered shocked him. The data was telling the wrong story. The universe didn't appear to be slowing down. We, we thought that that's what we would see, and it looked like the opposite was taking place, that in fact, the universe was speeding up in its expansion. These distant supernova were fainter than you would have thought, and fairly significantly fainter. They were you know, probably 20% or more, and that's the hallmark of a universe that's actually speeding up in its expansion. On the one hand, this was a good result. It was new science and produced a Nobel Prize for Saul Perlmutter. On the other, it raised an obvious question. Once you know that the universe is actually speeding up, then you're faced with the question of, well, what could make it speed up? So far, the only real progress on that question has been to give the phenomenon a name. It's become known as dark energy. Dark energy is just the term we use to describe whatever it is that makes the universe accelerate in its expansion. What makes it expand faster and faster? We don't know what that is. It's a mystery. And so we call it dark to reflect our ignorance, not because it's uh, the color is dark. 